Hello everybody and welcome back to- Oh god damn. I don't know if that's going to really gross people out or not, but I just burped directly into the mic as soon as I started a video. Oh god, I should really restart this video. It's very unprofessional of me. But, it's it's in, it's in. I'm I, I was I was honestly having an internal debate there. Do I restart the recording or do I just carry on? It's like, the- I've got to find sort of the intersection between- how gross is it, and how funny is it? But is it even funny? Probably not. I, I, I... I'm gonna keep it in. I'm gonna keep it in. Anyways, <laughs> enough debating myself. Let's jump in. I'm just gonna play Eden. I really fancy an Eden run here. He's a good laugh. Let's give it a go. We've almost completed his uh, completion marks here, but soon, soon we'll be on to the point of um. What the hell? Oh, okay. We've got um. An item here that basically gives us piercing after a short amount of time. We've also got butter plus the pause button. Um, I really like this idea of the um, increasing shot speed that gives us piercing after a certain bit of time. That actually itself is really cool. Especially considering the range seems to be about right, about what I think it should be. So we're not going to... That was that was really close. Uh, it's not going to like end us. We're not going to have to like stay really far away. But at the same time, it, it's you have you can't like just stand wherever you want. I like this idea for this item. I'm definitely happy that we have it to start with. I think for a starting item, it's pretty good. Oh my god, these enemies are just very horrible to pair together. And honestly, you're not getting piercing all the time because enemies like these guys do tend to stand quite close to you. Now I wonder how range is going to affect this. Like, I wonder if having having a lot of range is going to make it so that it starts. So that it starts further away, like it it, it turns uh, piercing further away or not. I'm not entirely sure. We shall see what our uh, our first item room ends up giving us here. We do have a lovely little. Um, I was just about to. Say, <laughs> I was just about to say I don't think this uh, this room's going to be as innocent as it looks, but I didn't think that enemy would hurt me as it landed there. We do have a tinted rock there. I'm really hoping. That if we're going to keep the pause button, that we get an orbital to to make it worth our while, and I'm hoping we get a bomb here as well. But yeah, I kind of like the idea of us uh, staying back. It also seems to increase knockback as well, maybe? I'm getting a lot of knockback here. I've just done my Christmas shopping. Um, at the risk of the people that I bought presents for watching this video, I'm going to tell you what they were. Um, but the risk of that is exceedingly low for uh, two reasons. One being the people that I bought presents for include my girlfriend's parents and my own parents. Um, and the other being, um, this video is likely to come out after Christmas Day, um, based on my current scheduling of videos. So, if that is true, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you all. This, this, if I've done my calculations correctly, this should be coming out, ball sick. This should be coming out on, um, Christmas, no, Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. Um, I'm backlogging until I get home. The, the new series actually should have started by now, uh, but I've had to backlog this series for the Christmas holidays. Honestly, I have to say, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but hitting 10k has, fa has fallen on the absolute worst time for me. I haven't quite hit it yet, but I'm assuming by the time you guys are watching this, I have. I'm at 9.97k at the time of recording this. Um, oh, pretty good, but the damage down there is pretty horrible. Um... Fire rate, however, pretty good stuff. Uh, and I think we'll go to the other floor here. Hello, fish. Um, yeah, basically, it looks like I'm going to hit 10k about a day before I go home for the Christmas holiday, and then I'll be off. So it's, it's hitting at the worst time. But I've, I've, talk, I've, I've spoken about this quite a lot already. I, I'm not going to bang on about it. Um, I don't want to sound ungrateful. I most certainly am grateful for the fact that, I hit, that I'm hitting 10k, or hopefully I've hit 10k. Maybe it just stopped at 9.97 and never grew any higher. We'll find out. Um, anyways, the question of the day, if this is coming out after Christmas, how was your Christmas? Um, because I think this should be coming out on the 26th, I think. I think. I think. I think. Uh, that or the 27th. I, I don't know if I planned this right. I'll be honest. I really don't. Um, I really don't know. I, I, I've tried to plan things out correctly, but yeah. So if, and if it hasn't been Christmas yet, 
What are you doing right now? That's what that's gonna be the question of the day. If it's not Christmas yet, what are you doing right now? Also, you have one free pass to call me dumb because I don't know time. Um, anyways, back to what I was trying to talk about. So yeah, I've just done my Christmas shopping. And like I said, it doesn't really matter about talking about on here because they're not going to see it anyways. But um, I've, I've bought some Christmas presents for my uh, my girlfriend's parents as well as some... Oh, I, can't, I don't have a key yet. I can't grab that. Um, as well as some Christmas presents for my parents. Um, for, for my dad, I've already sort of given him a gift a while ago. Um, basically, there's this place near me that's like... A, it's called Red's Barbecue. It's fucking amazing. It does great barbecue food. I've taken him there a few times and he loved it. And he basically said for every single birthday, every single Christmas, every single Father's Day, just take me there. He was like, I, I, like, I don't want any other presents. I just want to go there again. So, basically, I've already... That was a very good shot, my maestro. That was a very good shot. We might die here because this guy's got the homing and... This other dude shooting me with the bombs too. I have to admit, this is rather scary. Oh, he actually got me with that herming shot. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, okay. This is getting a little little saucy. little saucy. Um, I'm just going to stand up. I'm, getting, I'm finding it hard to talk. Um, so yeah, I didn't really get him much, but um, I got him a, a 1k 1kg bag of coffee beans because that's something I know that he'll like. But I'm pretty sure my sister also got him coffee beans, but at the same time, he drinks a lot of coffee, so I don't think I can, he can exactly have enough. I think it's, I think more is, the more the merrier for him. Oh, I'm really not enjoying this room right now. <laughs> this room is taking forever. It might be the fact that I've got 1.97 damage, to be fair. That is absolutely horrendous so that's not great uh but anyways let's let's keep her going um oh god don't take my baby i needed him see these guys are all charmed now but that doesn't help us really fuck i can't kill anything <laughs> everything's taking so long to die like so unbelievably look at this this is crazy this is absolutely crazy. Everything's taking forever to die. And look, we've got no keys either. God damn, I'll eventually get to talking about what the gifts are. So, yeah, I got I got him some coffee, um, and hopefully he'll like that. Um, but for my mum, I got her um, a bacon weight, because I've got one, a, a cast iron bacon weight, and she's very jealous of it. it we, both me and my mum are very into cooking. I'm into cooking because of my mum. So, um, she, she came to my house today, and she saw her, and she was like, oh, I'm jealous of that. She also bought me a pestle and mortar, like... Um, I can't remember how long ago. Now, Maggie's Burr, it's not, we need something with a bit more oomph to it. What the fuck? What's with all this? What's with all these? I didn't expect all this. Lost Contact. I don't know how to feel about Lost Contact. Defensively, it's pretty good, but damage-wise, it could kind of cause us some trouble. Um, and yeah, she was jealous of it. And same with the Pestle and Mortar, yeah. She, she, she bought me one that was kind of like, hey, wait a minute. I bought you one of those, but now I want one. So she was like, can you get me one for Christmas? So I've got her one of those as well. Um, oh, I remember what this is. You, you just stole one. You're supposed to throw them, you gimp. For God's sake. You just stole it. You can't just steal it. Oh my god. Look at how much damage we're doing here. This is horrible. Thank god we have hot bombs. Fuck me. I'm pretty sure that's the cookie and I kind of want it. It is good. Okay. Risky, but I'm... I think this was the right decision. We're somehow still alive. We're somehow still kicking. Um, yeah, and then um, for my girlfriend's parents, I got uh, my girlfriend's mum a like a sort of thousand piece um, jigsaw puzzle that's like of a scene of nature. I was trying to get her an archery based one because she's really into archery, but I just couldn't find one. And then I found these like, they're a bit, bit of a boring present, but I found these really like cool archery socks and they were like going to arrive on the 29th of December. I'm like, ah. Oh. For God's sake. And then um, my girlfriend had bought her dad uh, whiskey for his birthday because we were in Edinburgh. So he, she bought him some whiskey. Um, and then when he was over at our house recently, like last weekend, he um, he was talking something about watering down whiskey. And uh, he mentioned about whiskey stones. And we have some. 
And I was like, oh my god, that's actually a really good gift idea, sir. Um, now that he's got whiskey, he's got some whiskey stones to go along with them. Um, which, they're only, they're only like sort of small gifts, they're not anything crazy, but I think, I think hopefully he'll enjoy them. This game's trolling me so hard right now, like, can I please have some keys and some damage? At least we're slightly augmenting our damage with the, um... Slightly augmenting our damage with the, the prank cookie. Because that'll give us some tier effects that'll do some more damage. But come on, game. Don't be a dick. I, I, I need something that works with paws as well. So far, paws is pretty useless. And I also have butter in my back pocket, so I don't actually want to use it because it'll just drop paws. Doesn't Isn't useful for me right now, but might be later on. Also, re-entered the point at which my health is dog shit. <laughs> it's really not going too hot for me, is it? It's just, it's it's kind of crazy how, like, troubling this low damage is for you. It causes so many issues. There's our key, thank you. We got another key prior somewhere. Don't know where from. Let's um, pop in here first. And... I honestly don't know. Drops a s one soul of Lilith on pickup. Oh, damn, okay. I'll most certainly take that. I did not know that it did that. That's very, very good. Um, Camo Undies is actually pretty incredible here. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to like where this is going. We finally have some stats. This, this room is... Very bad for us, by the way. I really can't afford to kill the guy in the middle first. What I need to do is I need to kill him, and then the moment that I kill him, get out the door so I don't get hit by the raining tears. Hello? Ah! Ah! No, no, no. I did not like that attack. Oh, dude. Get somewhere where you're easier to kill, please. It's a super cool attack pattern, but fuck off. I'm having a really hard time with this guy right now. That's also a really good trinket. Probably gonna die here, but we, we gave it our best shot. Come on, bomb. Thank you for hitting him. Oh my goodness. Yes! It's HP. Holy hell, it's HP. How on earth are we still alive? Against all odds. And by all odds, I mean my own stupidity. Although I will say the, the vast majority of what went wrong was me getting absolutely screwed by my experimental treatment giving me such low damage. Also, what the hell? These guys are really hard to hit. Get away, frogs. Do you still hit me? I'm still in the red here. Oh, this... This damage. I can't even hit this motherfucker. Never mind deal enough damage to kill him. Also, what just happened to my camo undies? Okay, we're back. we're back in the red again. Yeah, what the hell happened to my camo undies? Uh, they didn't proc on this room. Oh, I feel like we're going down here. Especially when the game does stuff like this to me. Yep. That's it. We dead. We'll go again. We'll go again. That was pretty awful. Oop, this time we start with Ipecac, though. I'll definitely take that. Adrenaline, not so good, but... Ipecac? Ooh! I've just got to test something real quick. <laughs> um... Can I... I can't be hurt by this. Okay, so... My test here... This item... Adopts your tear effects and makes it rain a bunch of tears. Apparently, though... It does not hurt me. Which is insane. Because as you can see, it lasts quite a while. This is nutty. Okay, maybe maybe our death was a blessing in disguise. Also, our shot speed. 
God damn it, our shot speed is so bad. This is a cool room. Not that we can actually utilize it for what it's meant for, but it's a cool room. If only we had red health. Because basically the idea is you can get IV back and then re-roll it. God damn the shot speed. Does Ipecac normally give you low shot speed or did I just get really unlucky? I have a feeling I just got really unlucky, didn't I? I'm just going to quickly go back and check the shop real quick. Also, secret room. Very good trinket. Ooh. Picking up a coin, 5% chance of dropping a coin-themed trinket. Now, nah, we'll definitely take this. And then take that and hope it gulps it. Yes. And then small rock on top of that. Oh, this is a joyous day. Magic mush in the corner. Come on, magic mush in the corner. 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 Ah, now that would have been the cherry on top. We'll just take the soul heart here. Okay. Okay, things have really, really started to go our way now, haven't they? This is pretty awesome. Uh, we get a cracked key here as well, of which I don't know where to use that. Um, maybe here? Yeah, yeah. Right, how good can this really be? Is this really the dream run we think it is? Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart would be the dream run. Let's see. Or Brimstone. Do you know what? I will fully accept flight and a speed up. Head of the Keeper. Head of the Keeper. Cooper. Uh, uh, no, not Coupon. Head of the Keeper. Head of the Keeper. Pennies. I'll take pennies. Okay. This, this has been a true turnaround. A true turning point for our run. Now let's watch the world burn. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I really hope we can get um, something to charge up our active quicker. Because this is fun. <laughs> what an interesting start. I might as well just take it. Why the heck not? I'm not sure if it lasts between rooms. I can't remember. Let's let's try and find out. Right. When I leave this room, does it just stop? It does, okay. If it lasts between rooms, then it'd be really crazy. I can't believe as well we got the Amalgamation Trinket as well, which is one of my favourite trinkets in the, in the entire game. This is just wild. Telekinesis is the first bad thing we've gotten, although it's not actually bad, I just can't take it. Let's get that Magic Mush, shall we? We've asked for it before. Now is its time. Unfortunately not. Um, on pickup, spawn a coin, key, bomb, and card at the start of your next run. Okay, that doesn't do too much for us right now. I'm going to go with this. Shops haven't been too kind to us so far. But we'll get there. Ow. And that's the sort of reason why I bought the Soul Heart. So we're going to be hurting ourselves a lot, I reckon. A lot, I reckon. I'll say that again. Forgot I didn't have Spectral. Sometimes I, assume, I get flight and just assume I have Spectral. <clears throat> just obscene. Obscene damage out of that item. I really hope we get, like, triple A battery and stuff.
Damn it, the bu popping the bubble doesn't actually kill the enemy in the bubble. Gotta remember that. Oh, damn, we got one of the uh, trinkets. Ow! And it did gulp it, nice. We're gonna get a lot of penny themed trinkets here. I Honestly, I despise these crabs. I think they're fucking stupid. I hate them. <laughs> like, they're cool enemies, but they're so they do some real bullshit. I'll just check this out. Yeah, I I'm fine. I'm re-rolling things, thank you. Just all pickups and trinkets. Did I just hit a bubble and it made myself damage myself? I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Thanks, game. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, that this is this is a run like for the ages. This is so much fun, and the fact that we got the amalgamation thing with this penny thing, we're picking up a penny can spawn a penny trinket that we can then smelt. Yeah, crab again doing its bullshit thing. Also, flies here doing obscene damage. Just, just I'm just gonna stand here. Okay, you can actually go up there. Fly, just do it, just do it. Do it, fly. For God's sake, fly. <laughs> Deceive our heart. I also do need a shot speed up pretty bad. The shot speed problem is uh, is, is is rather annoying. For God's sake, stop spewing out these boys. I'll do it. I'll start an Armageddon. I will unleash Armageddon on you. Do not make me do it. I have the means. I have the means. You survived that? Wow. That's how one makes you larger, Pill, I'm pretty sure. Maggie's Burr. Doesn't do an awful lot for us right now, but we are not bound to just soul hearts, so... Actually, okay, it does give us eight red hearts, so that, in that sense, it's pretty good. I can't believe you can hit the bubbles with the fucking thingies there. Oh, hello. That's a lot of mini Isaacs. That's quite a lot of mini Isaacs you got there. I'll go in here because we've got flight. Damaging an enemy will send out a tier that homes in. The tier deals damage equal to 10% of your number of broken hearts. I don't know how good that is. Like, I, that's a fun item. D the tier deals damage equal to 10%. Yeah, if it was 10% of my damage, that'd be sick. But it's not, so I'm not going to take that. That's just three broken hearts that I don't need. Because I just I can't fire quick enough, so it's too niche. If I could fire faster, it'd be ace. Go mini Isaacs, kill that fly. Thank you. Tear detonator. That would also be fun. Getting a little, little bit annoyed at the the. Uh, this runs good, but like, could could you could you just try and not give me quite as many active items? I've only got one red heart to give that guy, and he sometimes takes two to pay out. So I'm not going to do that yet. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this, my guy. He was not. Range up is actually not too bad. I'll take it. And I mean, why not? <laughs> why not go to the mines? Oh god, I think it's up. I think it. I think that range up was also a tier height up. Now I'm having an even harder time, actually. I've got to blow up the mushrooms now. Now that I said about magic mush, I feel like it, it, it's gonna happen if I keep pressing on and trying.
I know your type. Oh, what have you made it in? Fuck. <sighs> you're gonna... You're gonna, like, do something so I can... You know what? Fuck you. I'm not playing your games. Get out of here. I'm not playing your games. Why are these giving four mini Isaacs? Oh, it's giving four because of Maggie's bow. That's pretty interesting. These are also mushrooms. I should blow them up too. It's weird that they still fart with gas, but who am I to judge? Yeah, the shot speed and, like, this weird, like, crazy tier height is making it incredibly frustrating to hit enemies. The shot speed especially. Come on, give us not an active. Ooh, look, it's an active. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I can't even hit this guy. <laughs> How am I meant to hit? Just use a bomb for fuck's sake. So annoying. Why is there so many actives? Come on, game. Be reasonable. It's weird. This It's like this run is so good, but there's so much of it that's trash right now. It's just so impossibly difficult to actually hit the thing I want to hit. I can't hit this enemy at all. There you go. Finally, I got him. Eternal Heart's pretty good. I'm trying to think, what would what would be the thing I want with this run? Perming would be fantastic. Um, I think Soy Milk might work pretty well on this run, although it would kind of ruin my Extinction Mode thing I've got going on right now, which I'd be pretty sad about. It Hurts doesn't do much for me. Little Spew is terrible for me. It just, I, I can't charge him up to deal damage, so pretty useless. <sighs> Let's get out of here. This, this floor has saddened me deeply. I realize I don't have my extinction mode for this boss, but I forgot. I'll be honest. I completely forgot to go charge it. I, I literally used it in that last room with the sole purpose of thinking, I've got plenty of rooms left. I can charge this easily. And I just didn't. And now it's... Like, you see what I mean? We've got Ipecac, and it's this hard to hit things. He's doing good damage when we do hit him. Screw. Fire right up is very good. We needed that for a while. That's not bad, because like, it is nice to be able to... It is nice to be able to get my charges back by getting hit, but really needing something. Like, it seems like it really set the ball rolling and then shoved the middle finger right up my ass. And I, I'm sure many of you are like, excuse me, turtle. This is infinitely, t infinite times better than any run I've ever had. How dare you? But I just, I feel like the potential is there to really pop off and the game is just not... I don't remember what the vanilla wafer does, I'll be honest. Something something like the wafer, but not, not the wafer. These scorpion motherfuckers. They scare me. Oh my god. Don't, the way that you move scares me. There you go. Secret room. Nope. Okay. Thought that was very obvious secret room there, but it's not. That didn't kill you? What? Oh, look. What's this? Oh, it's an active. Oh, look. What's this? Oh, it's actually this isn't an active. I 
I guess we'll take that. Credit card's pretty good in case we get a devil deal. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Have we seen it? We've seen our item room this floor, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, hello, war. I don't know if you can resist my, my apocalypse. Also, we've got so many large rooms here. He's throwing gigabombs out. Oh my god. Tears up again. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, but it's just, this is just a strange one. This run's beautiful. I'm having a lot of fun. But just, just give me a little bit of a push. And we, it could be, it's just the, the, the shot speed. Which isn't as bad anymore. We've, we've beefed it up a little. But not enough. Not nearly enough. Hey, we've got it straight away. I actually don't need that other trinket at all. It's not doing much for me. I don't need to finish that room. Bizies. Need to be finding secret rooms more often as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I can't hit it and then I hit myself. Stop moving, you bitch. The flies are going to be very good, so definitely, definitely a rotten heart is uh, very useful for us. Okay, no secret room there either. It's just so strange to have too much range like this. And oh my god, the shop without an active item? Is that, is this real life? Is that plausible? Is that something that can happen? In the in the, in the game, what the hell? This is bizarre, dude. I can't hit anything. My fucking shots go right over them. <laughs> Frustration. No breathing. I think I want to go this way for the more coin pickups. Potential of more trinkets. Didn't get any though. So he's found an item room. Item room here. This floor. This floor's item room. I can already tell it's gonna be really, really good. Still way back. This floor's item room is gonna be mega. I'm calling it now. Oh god damn. My, my body, my soul, I'm stressed. That's not secret room. Is this secret room? Where the hell's the dang secret room? What the heck? It has to be here, right? No? I'm so confused. Where'd all these coins come from? Did I just drop those and been hit? Okay. This is an extinction event level room, so don't tempt me. What a dodge. Okay, there we go. We finally found secret room. That is a very good trinket. And it gulped it too. Awesome. Now at least we fire double the amount of Ipecac. Which apparently already is not a good thing, because I've hurt myself. Oh, we haven't finished this room? What the hell? Oh, okay. We got one of these wall guys that we never actually dealt with. I didn't see that. I like, I hate the way they do that when they start the room and they're, for, they're like fully formed and you go to shoot them and it's like, psych. <laughs> That's pretty decent. Right, second secret room. I guess I could try some of the obvious spots. No, that's not an obvious spot. 
There isn't too many of the spots, actually. I didn't go into my curse room the right way. Tough shit. I'm doing it the wrong way now. Blood Earth? No thanks. I'll buy the Soul Heart, though. Should not embarrass myself on the way out. Still take damage, but I'm too lazy to go the right way. Right, I'm pretty sure it's here at the end of this hallway, right? It's not. Okay, it's here. Uh, we got a glass D6 here, which actually isn't useful, I've just realized now, because I, I want to keep my credit card in case we get a devil deal by mistake, which is likely the game is screwing me right now. We can make boss rush if we're quick here. I'd like to do that. Take that. Quickly do that. Just credit card both of those. Why not? They're not very good, but I want it to be quick. Eve's mascara would be quite the mistake, I think. But honestly, it's the best thing here, so I'm going to do it. Actually, it, it, it's not that bad. We got a lot, a lot more damage, and we ended up at the same tier as we started off at, so... Honestly, not all that bad. Basically, once extinction, the ex extinction event starts going, I'm pretty sure we're going to kill everything in here pretty quick. And I, I think it's going to last through to the next time we get to charge anyways. And remember, the damage on this thing scales based on the damage we have, so it's going to be doing mega damage. I could probably just sit back and relax, find somewhere to, to holiday. Obviously, it's a big room, so they're not going to direct hit all the time. I wonder if, if I've got it like up at two times at once, if it's double the frequency, if it just resets the timer. <laughs> See a boss's life get ended every now and again. There you go. Ended. Ended. Got a like, nice little dad hat on. Oh god, I just, I literally saw that brimstone warning right there and then. I just decided to sit there and watch it. This is quite fun. This is quite something. Watching the world end. Having a nice little sip. Actually, um, when we, uh, when we went to Edinburgh, I don't know what this, this popped to my head just because we're talking about the world's end. When we went to Edinburgh, actually got to go to the world's end pub from the, um, the world's end film from the Cornetto trilogy with Simon Pegg and stuff, if people haven't seen that. It's very, very good. But yeah, got to go to that pub while in Edinburgh. Pretty cool. Keep hurting myself by accident. It's okay, though. Everything's dying. Get off your motorbike. Don't yeet your motorbike at me. Rude. Actual just metric nukes dropping on enemies here. It's just as well, like, the big ones that drop, the full damage ones, the blast radius is so massive that it just hits them no matter where they are, pretty much. Probably got, like, three or four more waves left. Four or five, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I just can't believe it doesn't deal damage to me. I really expected it would just be an insta-kill on me, and I'd just be killing myself when I first saw it. Like, the other boss, the one that I don't see, is just, like, dead before I even get a chance to have a look. Roid Rage. Actually pretty nice with the speed up. Did lose quite a lot of health to that, though. That was mainly my own stupidity, but... I'm hoping my Rotten Heart can do a lot here with their 93 damage flies. If that's the damage that they do, which I think it is. Still, our tier height is nutty now. Look at that. Look how, look how high up our tiers go. I fire a tear at this side of the room, and it reaches almost the entire length of the room. How am I meant to hit things like this? This is ridiculous. 
I've got a herp and prayer. The poison damage is nutty here as well. Yeah, no thanks. I'm not doing a room I don't have to. What do you think I am? Some kind of fool? Ow. Bye. Probably actually just finish, finish out this room, to be honest. There you go. And of course we went all the wrong ways that time there. That's just standard practice for the womb. That's just how it rolls. That's how we roll in the womb. Oh god, attacks are everywhere. After this, I've got to finish some stuff for work as well. I am off for a little stay in a hotel for a few days for work tomorrow, which is something I haven't done before and I didn't expect it I'd be doing on a job where I primarily work from home, but here we are. Needs must and all. Especially this close to Christmas, but yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> I can't, this is just such a frustrating epic acro I can't even describe. Hey, you finally found the boss. There you go. In such a small room like this, there's just no chance. There's just no chance of survival. Everything is dead. It's beautiful. <laughs> I keep saying it, but it's just hilarious. I love this combination of items. The problem is, I, I like genuinely this runs so good with this much damage. You would think that I, dying is just not possible, but with the self damage, the inability to hit enemies accurately, it just I genuinely think there is a world in which we do die on this run. I kind of got to purposely shoot past the enemies I'm shooting at to actually legitimately hit them. I've got to fire at such a weird angle. That is a lot of mini Isaacs. That was a lot of pills so quickly there, dude. A lot. Like, how do they not hit? Come on now. This is just stupid. And look. Oh, look. The wondrous wrong way once again. But yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to go to the hotel. It's like, it's a pretty interesting prospect. It's something different with my job, uh, something new. And like I said, it kind of breaks breaks up the day from what it normally is, um, which is always nice. A little bit of change of pace. Um, and I do get to go um, with the guy that I work with and also my girlfriend as well, because she's a camera operator and it's something to do with cameras. So um, I basically convinced my boss to hire her for, uh, for, a, for a half a day. I didn't really need to convince him. He, he had met her before, worked with her and he knew she, knew she that she was good. And so I brought up the idea and he pretty much was like, yes. So it's pretty good. So she gets she's getting paid for it and so am I. Um, and it's like, it's not like a holiday at all because we are working, but it's kind of a holiday. <laughs> it's like a mini holiday. Right. Let's see if we can survive. Our health has been slowly but surely depleting per floor. And based on the rate at which we've been losing it, I would say that the chances of us um, surviving are pretty low. Not like 0%, but definitely not great. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. I got trapped in there with him. Wasn't really much worth moving around. We are killing stuff pretty quick. That's nice. Oh, Rainbow Champion. Um, unfortunately, not a great Rainbow Champion there. I'm going to take that Lust card just in case. I think I might need it for the boss fight with the extra HP. But goddamn, we went all the wrong ways again. Who'd have thought? Who'd have ever thought that that could happen? Kind of magical, really, isn't it? I would like to blow up these blue fires, but chances of me accurately doing that are essentially zero. I got one of them by accident. 
Oh, what the hell? These guys are firing lasers. No thank you with your laser beams. That was just an obvious I'm gonna get hit moment there. I shouldn't have even tried that. Ah, ah. That was such a bad idea. Get away, get away, get away. I can't, I can't shoot that door. I tried. I failed. I can't hit these enemies without hitting myself. Oh my goodness. This is tragic. This, these are the risks I like taking, though. We took some stupid stuff that made this really perfect run a lot worse. I think that's funny. Oh, God. It's time for the purple screen again. I don't actually need to know if I need to beat this room, but it's not a hard room to beat, so... Apparently some dips. Just, I can't accurately hit these things at all. Why are dips so difficult? Secret room? Damn it, no HP. It's all I was hoping for, but never you mind that, I guess. On to the boss. I'm not going to be able to see, so... Oh, and that hit me as well. Lovely. Right, these items better be very good. I need one that's going to increase my health, because I am one shot away from death right now. A soul heart is good. A mortal heart on use is good. Others, meh. I hurt myself immediately there. Any big room, any big room where we can recruit charges, we use our extinction mode. We can't bomb through doors anymore, so that's problematic. This is horrible. Okay, that that was that was awful. Oh, there was there was only one pin in that room. I thought there was two. Got damn bugged out the purple room again. Oh, these guys. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot these guys spawn new mushroom enemies. We don't want them doing that. Basically, I've got to aim the shadows, not the shots. Which is really confusing. Hurt myself, lovely. These are not good enemies for me. They're chasers. Is that us dead? No, it's not. Wow, somehow it's not. Somehow, it's not. What the hell? Oh my goodness. I see the... I, 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 was, I was about to say I see these poison shots, but I barely do, actually. They're very, very hard to see. You guys only have a few more poops left to, to handle, so... Oh wait, they're red poops. You'll be going back and forth between them forever. I just can't tell that they're red because they look purple. God damn. <laughs> what is this? I really hope I've gone the right way this time. I can't even tell if these are buttons that I have to press or not. I think they are. Did we get them all? I think? Yeah, I got them all. Okay. Oh my god, we found the boss. Okay. Lust gives us HP. And then we pop this. We lose some speed to get that HP. But it gives us just enough time for our active to do what it's made for. I never thought a run with 93 damage would be this tough. But we made it in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.